I don't want us to go home. Yeah, you could be my lifeline, you could be my sunshine. In a world so full of pain, can you make it go away? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new or returning, I appreciate each and every one of y'all for being here. It means a lot to me and my family. So today we are doing a Sam's Club haul. Um, this haul is a part of the Walmart haul that I just did. Um, well, any Walmart haul that I just did because I'm trying to do a one week meal prep plan so that I don't have to be in the store almost every day of the week. So I wrote down my um, menus, I made a plan for it, and I, well, I wrote down the ingredients and I just went to the store and I got what I needed. And so here we go, let's get into the video. Oh, but before we do, go ahead and like this video, subscribe, turn on your notifications, share this video out, it would mean a lot to us okay first thing here is i'm good on meats but because i have been having a hard time finding chicken wings i had to get them so i think we were on the last pack of bacon so i got these smithfields from sam's and it comes three in a pack and these, you know, we'll use these as like breakfast. We could use it for lunch. We could use it for dinner. For breakfast, we could do eggs, bacon, grits, whatever. Or just a bacon sandwich um, with lettuce and tomatoes. Uh, we can do, um, I bought some Philly cheese steaks. We like to fry up the bacon or air fry it or oven bake it or whatever and put that on our Philly cheese steak. So that's why I got that. Then I got Then I got the ground beef. I will be washing these hands for sure. Then I got the ground beef because um I was down to one. So I said, "Well, let me just go ahead and get this." Next up is um some sirloin and I got that for my beef stroganoff. And of course, the ground beef can be used um, any kind of way, and the steak can be used any kind of way. So there's a number of meals in there. Um, then I have two packs of the chicken wings. You can see right here. Next, we have some Rayburn's Philly cheesesteaks. So these are the cheesesteaks that I um, bought that we will put the bacon on. And that's like a uh, lunch for the kids while they're, you know, doing homeschool. And it's six in a, yeah, six in a box. And they come individually wrapped in the deli paper. And it tastes just like fresh. I mean, it tastes just like fresh. It tastes fresh. So I didn't say how many pounds this was. Each bacon was one pound each. And then all together, this ground beef was four pounds. And I can't read upside down for the uh, steak. And then over here we have some Country Time lemonade. Um, some chicken and cheese mini tacos is 56 of these little things in here as you can see on the pack and they come two to a pack like two you know you can just break this in half right here i'm sorry you can just break this in half right here put one in the freezer if you want and leave the other one out and that's another um snack for the kids or lunch for the kids while they're out of school god help me and then we have some Mott's 90 count 
fruit snacks we already have some upstairs but they already i think i've only had it maybe two weeks now and it's already like down here so i said well let me get another one um over here we have some hershey's cocoa i just got it because i i feel like i need to have that in the house especially if i want to bake something which i don't plan to bake anything anytime soon because i'm gonna be doing the um green smoothie and stuff and then over here we got some pink salmon in the stores they're like four dollars unless you can catch them on sale i've tried other brands and i just didn't like them so i said i'm just gonna have to pay the price for this and that's what i got and then the sour cream is for um two different um meal preps that i have planned out the um, chicken buffalo cheese dip, and what else was it? The beef stroganoff. And then down here, we have the Philadelphia cream cheese. This comes four to a pack, and I need these. One of those will go into the buffalo cheese dip, and I know one will go also into the beef stroganoff and then the rest I will use if I decide to bake something that I shouldn't be baking. Over here, I bought these. Um, I know, why do, you, why do I buy stuff when I know I'm about to oh, get right, get right, girl, get right. Okay, so I bought these right here. These are red velvet, y'all. I couldn't, I was looking at the blueberry, and then when I saw that, I said, man, I love a good crumble on top of my cupcakes, so I got that. Then over here, I had to get another box of the 42 patties of the um, breakfast sausages. We use this if we're doing like the box dirty rice. Cause I do a homemade version and I do a box, but if I just want to do something quick, I do the box. I use this. Of course we use it for breakfast. They use it for lunch. They use it for dinner. If I don't feel like cooking and they just make themselves something. Then over here I have, I don't know what this is. My daughter, my oldest daughter, um, met me over at the Sam's and she was like, you gotta try this. This is so good. Cook you some rice. I was like, do you put it on the rice by just that in the rice? And she was like, you can do it like that, but you could put it on anything. But try it on that rice. And it has garlic, sea salt, and butter. So I hope she's telling me the truth. It wasn't expensive or anything like that. And I had seen it for a while, but I didn't know how it tastes. But since she said it was good, I'm going to try it. And I'll let y'all know. If you've tried it, let me know in the comments. Okay, and this is a Mexican vanilla blend. And I've never tried this, but y'all, I'm willing to try it because this big bottle was like $4 and something. And of course, I'll put the prices in here. But that big bottle compared to the little bottle of McCormick's, and I'm like, hmm, it's probably, it probably tastes better than the McCormick's, but we'll see. We'll see. I don't know why my voice went up, but we'll see. Then over here, we have some cornstarch because um, I had like a smaller um, container of this. This is a 35 ounce and this was reasonable price. And this was 33.3 fluid ounces. And I forgot to tell you that this was 10 ounces. The sour cream was three pounds. Okay, so moving on. I tried to keep it organized, so I put all the vegetables and stuff over here. And I forgot to get my oranges and my, my um, tangerines or whatever you call them. So I will have to go back to the store to get that because I do want to put more fresh fruits in the diet. So, even though I don't care to eat a lot of fresh I don't care to eat fruit. Really. So this is my sweet onion, although... Um, none of my recipes that I'm making this week really call. Yeah, they do. The jambalaya does. So the jambalaya does and maybe one other. But I use onions all the time. I love onions, 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 onions. Although I needed white onions for one of my recipes and I couldn't find, Sam's did not have it. So I don't know. 
and then over here we have the green bell peppers and i have a number of meal preps for that as well with the jambalaya the dirty rice um what else was i making i might make my sausage casserole i don't know and then over here i needed some of these right here for the jambalaya as well and then over here i have the romaine lettuce that i have upside down sorry i apologize for that everything was the right way but that trying to get everything right for picture's sake and video sake so there's the romaine lettuce that is really for my green smoothies so i'll tell you what i do in my green smoothies in a minute and then over here i have bananas which I don't use bananas in this particular green smoothie, but my son uses them in his smoothies. And then over here we have some lemons. That's also for my smoothies and maybe a couple of my recipes. And then I definitely have some fresh garlic this time. I'll, I'll have, well, I had, I can't even talk. I bought some minced garlic in the jar from Walmart after I had already bought this garlic right here. So it's always good to incorporate fresh items into your meals. It's just time consuming for me because I don't have that garlic press that everybody's talking about. And then here are the avocados that will go into my smoothie. The mushrooms, those are definitely for my beef stroganoff. And then I have my baby spinach which will also go into the smoothies so that's it for this haul um my green smoothie is a dr guntry smoothie and i got this um link from lady lead and all it is is avocados let me go over here to my walmart preps mint lemons baby spinach, romaine, and what else? I believe that's it. It's, it. It doesn't call for much and maybe some stevia. Yeah, some stevia also. And that's it. I might have left something out, but I don't think I did. So y'all, that's it for um, this haul. Thank y'all for joining me. I appreciate each and every one of you. I tried to make this haul um, go as fast as as it can i'm not a fast talker like a lot of people i take my time when i talk because i get tongue tied y'all so if you enjoyed this video and i hope that you did please give it a thumbs up if you didn't enjoy it then give it a thumbs down you will not hurt my feelings at all and definitely leave me some comments and we can um talk and we can get to know each other so that's it I thank y'all for being here. Again, go ahead and subscribe, like, and share. And y'all have a blessed and safe week. And also, remember, I love you, but God loves you more. He created only one you, so be the best you that you can be. And when you are, go out and spread God's love with distance. And remember, he created only one you. And if no one has told you that they love you today, Tommy loves you.
the love.